Hey, this is Trogi. Welcome to this tutorial on how to get and use the Usamune practice ROM. The ROM made by Arc Circum and Atom Pass is one of the main reasons why the gameplay level is so high nowadays. It revolutionizes practice and makes it much more efficient. I'll first explain how to acquire the ROM, then give you a quick start and then show you my recommended settings. As they cannot distribute the actual practice ROM, you need to download a patch and use it on a ROM of Super Mario 64. I'm not allowed to tell you how to legally obtain an SM64 ROM, but I'm sure you will find one. To download the patch, go to Usamune Hello Work, the link is in the description of the video. Under Usamune Projects, you will find the Usamune ROM section. Click on this Usamune ROM link. This page contains all the info on how to get the ROM and explains all functions of the ROM in detail. Quick note, EverDrive users require the N64's expansion pack and MU users have to adjust some settings listed in that document. Download the patch with this link. Extract the file and find the correct folder. J stands for the Japanese version, U for the US version and that's the one we're gonna use here. Copy your SM64 ROM into that folder and drag it onto patch.cmd and the Usamune ROM will appear in your folder and you're done. Boot up your N64 or your emulator now that we're done with the patching and then start the practice ROM. At first it will look like a regular SM64 but there's a prepared full game file that you can select. It will work like normal SM64, but if you press down on the D-pad, a settings menu will show. Press L or R to switch between a stage selection menu and the settings. You can warp to stages very fast with the stage selection menu, even to secret stages and Bowser fights. Now the most important settings, press D-pad down to open the menu and go into the settings menu. You have different categories in which you can scroll through different settings. In the timer category, by using C right and C left, you can switch the display setting to always. Now the timer will always show. Go to stop and select the X cam. That means the timer will stop once you land on the ground when collecting a star. Now go to the reset section and for L button, select L reset, level reset. Now you can press L to quickly reset the level. And one last thing, very important, go to MISC and set the mode to N64 or MU, depending on what system you're playing on. If you're playing on an old EverDrive version, anything below 3.0, you have to reset the console to have your settings saved. And there you go, you're good to start practicing. I will now guide you through my recommended settings. The timer on the top right can cause lag if it's always displayed. So go to the settings and under timer for display you want to select grab and stop you want to have on X cam. Now go to the MISC T setting which stands for miscellaneous timer. Turn on all the options until the surface option. Now the timer will show for all the actions you just enabled such as tree grabs or wall kicks. This comes in very handy when you want to compare two of your recordings. Open up your options again and go into the reset category. Set the L button option to level entry so when you level reset Mario doesn't respawn on warps or sub levels such as the igloo. Go to HUD, head up display and make your life a lag frame counter. For an in-game input display, select ONSTK for input and to see your wall kick frames on the HUD, turn on WK Disp. Data should be fine unless you want to change your cannons, caps or game files. Go to spawn and make the DDD sub spawn because by default it won't be there on a 120 file. Finally go to MISC. Some like to have no in-game music so they can listen to their own music but still hear Mario's sounds and the star color yellow will just look better. By the way, you can make a save state in any level by pressing start and you can load it by pressing all the C buttons at once. I highly recommend to scroll through the Usamune ROM doc because it lists and explains everything in detail and there are so many more awesome and useful functions in this ROM. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please let me know in the comments. If you got further questions, don't hesitate to contact me on Twitter or Discord. 
follow me on Twitter and sub to my YouTube to stay updated on future tutorials and check out my channel for other tutorials I made in the past. Thanks for watching.